currently I'm using Flutter 3.0 because it just came out with Flame. And start 217. So if you look at my Flame projects, you can see here that I am specifying Dart 217. I'll specify flutter here to carrot. I'll run this project. And the project seems to work, but there's all these warnings, right? And it, it's in flame, so there's really no way to get rid of it. So I, I'm going ahead with Flutter 3, but if you look at the flame examples here on GitHub, you'll notice that there are using flame 2.10.0 so this is from the flame examples on the flame so it's it's the guys or people that developed flame and they're specifying flutter 2.10 uh, which you might want to as well too so how do you go from flutter 3 to flutter 2.10 well if you go out to the Flutter uh, section here on GitHub, there's these tags. And one of the tags is Flutter 2.10. So you could specify it the same as this. How do you do that? Okay. So where did you install your Flutter? So in my case, I have Flutter in my home directory local Flutter. So this is the directory which Flutter is in. So I'll check out 2.10.0 or the most recent stable version is 2.10.5, which should also work. When you run Flutter Doctor, and it's going to download and put your Flutter version at 2.10.0, which should be Dart 2.16.0. Okay, so let's just wait a moment and give it a shot. As I'm waiting, I think I'll just match my environment in my pubspec.yaml with the environment in the Flutter repo example. So this is what I had it before and we do have these warnings and this is the new one. If you go to the Flutter 3.0 release notes you're gonna see the same warning, right? Schedule or binding, which is the warning we're getting in the um, the debug console here. Okay, so I've downgraded Flutter. Okay, so it's Flutter two point ten. Just downgraded with that technique using the git checkout. Okay, I just temporarily disabled the flutter lints here. We'll do flutter run. Oh, it's using the web SDK. Okay, 
up to the terminal, there's no problems here. I'm going to re hot restart it. And no errors. And the application works fine. But the application did work with Flutter 3, so I'm going to use it. The purpose of this video is to show you how to get back to an earlier version of Flutter if you want to.